Um, I might go a bit croaky, so I've got my drink with me. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you to all of them, really. Um, Amniotic City um, came out in 2011, originally. And um, so um, to have a second edition of it 11 years later is really exciting and actually more exciting than, than I thought it would be. It's been a really lovely project to revisit and um, travel through again and write some new things for second edition. And it felt like a really good time to do it. So um, it's a... It's a fold-out poetry map, and um, it started off as walks around Fleet Street and Ludgate Hill, um, and and then poems happened, and uh, and then eventually it kind of turned into this um, with the help of of my my good friend, my best friend, um, Mel Hetherington, who did the layout and the design, and we kind of, yeah, here it is. And now, 11 years later, here it is again, but sort of slightly different. And, um, and so it's really lovely to be uh, here in Kingston, where this was originally envisaged as well, um, reading some poems from it. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to read some poems. Okay. Um, so this first poem is called Please to Remember the Grotto. Ghost urchins occupy empty seashells at Fish, Fish Street Hill on Oyster Day, St James's Day at Old Beans Gate Market, first fruit of the harvest, a feast for the workers, a street festival for the poorest, Millions of shucked shells scattered on Oyster Street, collected by ingenious young architects with imaginary blueprints aiming to rake it in. Long streets in the city littered with glowing grottos of four and twenty oyster shells, flotsam and jetsam, ad hoc constructions of seafood co cocoons, pebbles and pottery in the shape of a bric-a-brac beehive, illuminated with candles on street corners, minuscule shrines, lucrative attractions for ragged schoolboys. Please to remember the grotto. Outstretched hands holding empty shells, drop coppers, admire the chinks of light in temporary tabernacles, illuminating murky metropolitan nooks. Remember the grotto. Crawl beneath the carapace, thread the shells of dead snails on a string of knots. Ask salacious blessing for plain sailing on sparkling seas. A drowned man and his horse covered in shells saved from the waves become camouflaged hermit crabs, scalloped in time, walking to St. James' Garlic Hive on a backwards Camino to the smoke. Under curious old pathways, a Billingsgate bathhouse is closed off, the aperture of a shell, pints are shut for centuries, watery history floats in the deep past, shells of crushed sand, grit stuck inside bearing eventual gifts. Please to remember the grotto. Large colonies often sleep piled up together, collaborate in teams to find food, children, crabs, displaced people, gig economy workers, shucked out of Oyster Day, pilgrims occupying a dream post down on the steps of the original tax collector. Occupy London, a city of tents, pop-up grottos devoted to ideas of global democracy. Please to remember the grotto. One of the strange things about this map was that after I'd spent months walking around the City of London, um, it was published in October 2011, just as Occupy happened. Um, so it's just sort of a really weird kind of feeling around, and um, just a strange, great sort of coincidence, really, I suppose. Um, this is called Climacteric and this was written in June 2016. The goddess is telling me to leave. Traces of her are still here, among the burning remains of Babylon, harder to discern 
Echoes of her are fainter right now. Perhaps I picked a bad day for this. The current is deep. The water flows like tar. The in moon has waned. Cycles are over. Edges are stark. Niche. Niches are empty. Doorways are portals. Built over, bricked up, or blocked with bags of rubbish. Amidst the smell are city workers celebrating the end of their day in the buildings that aren't banks. The city is collapsing in shiny new eateries, red walls, sushi takeaways, Aperol spritz. The city is a snake that can't shed its skin. The city is choking within. Niches are empty and doors are stamped with sigils for protection. The deanery doorknob is a chaos sphere, eight-pointed, infinite brass sun, Babalu, gate of God. Church and banks still under lock and key with denial of culverts. I'm alone, as I was five years ago, drifting in and out of spaces which do exist, don't exist, disappearing beneath the dance macabre, counting the money making honey in hollow houses of grey, no river, no entry, no exit, eating each other alive in luchins over Damask, Simpsons on the Strand for a Brexit breakfast of bar and squeak, the braised kidneys of Britannia. <laughs> Um, uh, this is the last poem this is, these, these are sort of the, the, the new poems that have gone on to this edition and this last poem uh, came out of a lot of walks um, which all kind of I don't know how it works really but it was uh, suddenly um, I got obsessed with Sekhna and um, the Egyptian lioness, goddess and uh, so this, this is Drift with Sekhmet. Carnelian flames like a cool carved stone, a static glimpse in a room of relics. Bloomsbury is the beginning, the trail of a bloodthirsty lioness. In New Bond, Bond Street, the signal drops, a goddess seated above Sotheby's, surveying connoisseurs, collectors, uniformed security. We tiptoe towards the heart of the rot, unmasked pestilence in the sun heat, along familiar pavements, a chancery lane, spirits of lions prowl through the city, the purple of Lincoln's Inn, a vanished road, the gilded lions watch, night's temper, guzzle, cut price lager. Here's a sentinel lion, and another, golden lions next to a silver mousetrap, shining impossibly on a scorching afternoon a whisper away from the warm-in path. I am somewhere new. Heart and mind commence weaving, looking for the pattern to follow, to find, to solidify the space between legal costumes, games of baton, and an empty bottle of verve opposite the seven stars. Hurry on past the Cheshire cheese on up Ludgate Hill, past the past, no more nostalgic tick-tocking in the snug. Beyond St Paul's, straight on to meet with Mithras, the displaced, now restored, public-private access, a blooming capitalist, cultural, hybrid, arcade, tasteful occupation of ancient place, bullish male power, Leontopolis in the heat of corruption, sniffing out the arrogant venal fools, governing a city viral with greed, negligence and deceit, all gone in the breath of Sekhmet. A desiccating breeze blows down Cannon Street towards the ghosts of famished Barbary lions at the tower, a cobra-drawn chariot on a red tide, pomegranate-juice-stained beer, excoriating roars into the bloody sunset. Um, and I'm just going to read one more. And um, actually, I was, as I was walking here, and some people have been saying today it might snow. And so this seems like a good poem to read, and this is a poem by Stephen Watts called Fragment. And so I long to snow, to sweep across the low heights of London from the lonely rail yards and track huts. London and lichen mapped on mild clays in its rough circle without purpose because I remember the gap for clarity that comes before snow in the north, and I remember the lucid air's changing sky, and I remember the grey-black wall 
with every colour imminent in a coming light, the moon rising only to be displaced, and the measured, volatile calmness of after. And I remember the blue snow hummocks, the mountains of miles off and snow like frozen lakes, a frozen moss to stand on where once swarmed the drifting stopped. And I think we need such a change, my city and I, that may be conjured in us that dream birth of compassion with reason and energy merged in slow dance. Thank you. <clears throat>